wanna show it, so clap your hands like this. Everybody's so happy. Yeah, stomp your feet, come on, stomp your feet If you're happy and you know it, then I know you want to show it So stomp your feet like this Here we go. Everybody's so happy Wanna show it, so sing it loud like this. Sing it out. Before we sing any more songs, let's take a minute and tell somebody good morning. Good morning! It's a good morning. Wake up to a brand new day. This morning. Stepping, stepping on my way. Good morning. You do drink it, give me just what I need. And I can feel the hope that's rising in me. It's a good morning. I've got to R. D, my B I B L E, R E A D, my B I B L E, R E A D, my B I B L E. That's how God teaches me. I've got to R E A D, my B I B L E, R E A D, my B I B L E, R E A D, my B I B L E. That's how God. Teaches me. I read a little every day. I read a little every night. Because the Bible is true. And the Bible is right. I've got to R E A D. My B I B L E. R E A D. My B I B L E. R E A D. My B I B L E. That's how God teaches me. I read a little every day. I read a little every night. Because the Bible is true. And the Bible is right. I've got to R-E-A-D. My B-I-B-L-E. R-E-A-D. My B-I-B-L-E. I've got to R-E-A-D. My B I B L E. That's how God teaches me. I've got to R E A D to the B I B L E. I've got to R E A D. My B I B L E. R E A D. My B I B L E. I've got to R E A D. My B I B L E. That's how 
Now God teaches me. R E A D. Bigger than the biggest ocean, deeper than the deep blue sea, brighter than the sunshine. It's got the for me. Finally here. It's the zigzag zone. I know, Gus. We've zigged, we zagged, and we are ready. But let's practice one more time before we go. Deal. Jaden, are you okay? I think I hurt my ankle. Oh no! Let's cancel the competition. Let's wait until you feel better. I don't know. That doesn't seem fair. You've practiced so hard. Who? Who? Hello, Gus and Jaden. Who? Who? I heard it's competition day for you two. Well, it was supposed to be, but Jaden hurt his ankle, and I want to cancel it until he feels better. Sometimes we have to make hard choices. It's true. And it can be tough to know what to do. I have a story that just might help you. It's from the Bible. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hey there, friends. Good to see you. 
My name is Luis, and I heard you're looking to build a Bible story today. Ha ha! Do you have your pretend hammers? Hold them up, let's see. Okay, then on the count of three, let's build a story. Ready? One, two, three, build! <laughs> Great job, little helpers. Now you can put your hammers down. Now, today we're gonna play a game. Now let's see what's in the toolbox. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so all month long, we've been telling you stories from the Bible about a guy named David. Whoa, look at David dance. I think he's celebrating. Do you know who he's celebrating? God! He's dancing as a way to praise and thank God for helping him so much. How did God help him? Well, let's play a game and see if we can remember. Now, I'm gonna ask you some questions about what we learned about David from the Bible. And you shout out the answer when I ask. Are you ready? Okay, question number one. When David was a shepherd watching his flock of sheep, an animal came and stole one of the sheep. What kind of animal was it? Was it a giant octopus? Or was it a mighty eagle? Or was it a lion? What's the right answer? Shout it out. Yes, a lion, that's right. The lion grabbed the sheep but God helped David fight the lion and the sheep was saved. Okay, here we go. Question number two. King Saul asked David to do something that he couldn't do without God's help. What was it? Was it win lots of battles? Take everyone up for some pizza? Or build a snowman? <laughs> Which one? Shout it out. If you said win lots of battles, you were right. And David couldn't have done it without God's help. Okay, question number three. David and Jonathan were best friends, but they needed God's help to do something really hard. What was it? Did they have to put all the laundry away? <sighs> did they have to say goodbye to one another? Or did they have to go to the doctor? No, no. Which one do you choose? Shout it out. Yes, they had to say goodbye to each other. You guys are so smart. It was really hard for the best friends to say goodbye, but God helped them. Okay, last question. Years later, when David became king, God helped him help someone else. Who did David help? Was it Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth? Did David help, uh, Kangaroo? Did he help a woman cross the road? Hmm? What's your answer? Shout it out. That's right. David helped Jonathan's son, Mephibosheth. You were right. Great playing, everyone. God helped David so much, and that's why the Bible said David danced and made music and sang songs. David praised God because he wanted to say thank you to God for helping him. Now raise your hand if you think God wants to help you too. Wow, so many hands. And you're right, God wants to help us too. Which means we gotta dance too. <laughs> uh -huh. oh. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> hey there, Ollie. <laughs> Tell me, who can help you? God can help me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you? God can help me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. David praised God because he helped him, and you can praise God too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? David praised God because God helped him over and over again. We can praise God too because he helps us all the time. I think I got the story. Did you get it? 
If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Now I have to get back to helping my friend Jaden. I want to help you be in the zigzag zone too. I know, we can use our wagon. I'll pull you through the maze. Are you sure? I'll slow you down, even with our new fast shoes. That's okay, I want to run the race with you. Even though we won't be the fastest, we'll be together. All right, let's do it. Dear God, we thank you so much for all of the cool things that we have learned about David's life. You have helped him in so many ways. You've helped him fight off a lion and keep his sheep safe. You've helped him defeat a bunch of bad guys. You helped him be a giant man that nobody else could beat. God, you've helped him say goodbye to his best friend, even when he didn't want to. And you helped him keep his word to a promise by taking care of Mephibosheth. God, we learned from David's life that you are always there for us and you will help us no matter what. So help us to trust you and to come to you when we need help. We love you, Lord. It's in your name that we pray. And all God's kids said, amen. Okay, before you do anything else, you need to do this. Click on the link right here below the video, download the activity sheet, and work together with a mom, a dad, brother, sister, cat, uncle, grandma, somebody to complete your activities because it's going to better help you understand and remember the things that we're learning about today. Don't forget, it's muy importante. Got it? See you guys. Bye.